Hi, welcome to Genuki Yoga and Pilates. All right, we'll come, we've arrived to the spine stretch, also part of the basic five and the basic ten. So, um, she finishes her double leg stretch. She's going to lie down on her back, right? She's going to take her knees to her chest, so she transition. And she exhale from up to sitting, bring her legs out, hip distance apart. So, these are your bones of your hips. And that's the level you want your legs to go apart from. So on an inhale, she's going to take her arms up, her head on top of her spine. On the exhale, she's going to bend her spine, right, until how far she can go. And then on the inhale, she fill herself up with air until her head appear in the middle of her arms. One more time. Exhale, she goes forward. Good, she pulls everything out of the center, and then she inhales, she feels her up, head coming last. One more time, exhale, so in Pilates, she rolls down, in Pilates we say, squeeze everything out as if you are a vacuum, and that's what you're going to give you, a big inhale, clean the breath to heal the other tissues. One last time, exhale, she goes down, She's, you see where the exhalation is happening, good, and then she inhales, she becomes taller than she was a minute ago, and then she relaxes her arms down, right? So now, let's say you are quite um, stiff in your hips, so the first thing that will happen, she's going to collapse right there into her pelvis. And if this happens, the point of the spine loses, uh, you know, you lose the point of using your spine to decompress, you start moving only at the hips. So what you can do about that, you're going to grab some cushions, if you have some, you know, just to help your hips getting a little higher. She's going to sit on top here, with her bum in the middle, and if you have a yoga block, you can use that as well. And like you see, her hips is higher than her legs. Even higher if you need to, whatever you need. And that will help her concentrate on bending her spine versus, um, okay, I'm stuck and I can't move. I can't move out of that. So the movement will be the same. Arms up towards the ceiling on the inhale. And now she exhales, she goes down without having to, you know, to first rock the pelvis and then she inhales, she comes up through her spine, articulate as if she has a wall behind her, and then exhale, she goes down, right? So you're never pushing your back behind that wall. That's your wall, you're rolling against it. One vertebra at a time. Inhale, she fills up, and she stuck her spine until her head arrives last. Now let's say relax your arms down. Now let's say even that is complex. You want to bend your knees and you'll have your arms in front of you. All you need to do now is just focus on rounding the head on the exhale, same breathing. Exhale, she rolls down. Good, right? She doesn't have to concentrate on her knees or her hips. And then she rolls up through the center, spine, head appears. And at the same time, now she has, doesn't have to worry about her shoulders and relax her arms. Right. So these are your two options. Spine stretch is a great exercise to do anywhere. It doesn't have to start, you know, get yourself in the mood. You feel sluggish, you feel tired. You just roll your body down and up, and then you suddenly feel awake again. You have so much energy back to your body. So you just take that sluggishness out. So spine stretch. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.